I've just had ACL surgery, and the biggest question on my mind is, when can I be back on the field play? Yeah, Sonny, it's a common question that all of our athletes have, and generally the current guidelines suggest that the rehabilitative process should last nine to 12 months. Um, and, and we're hoping to have you back to playing your sport at around nine months, but it could be a little bit longer. We don't just go off timelines alone. We look at a battery of tests that are gonna kind of allow us to assess your quality of movement and your strength and your just overall readiness to return to sport. But, but we do shoot for nine months to kind of get you back to, to return to sport. What about just kind of like my everyday kind of activities of running, maybe biking or swimming, maybe not on the field playing the game, but kind of where, where does that fit in on the timeline? Yeah, man, I think, you know, the, the immediate post-operative phase is, is probably about six weeks where you're not doing too much of that kind of stuff. But we do hope to have you um, on a bike at around five weeks, you know, kind of spending lightly. We, we're comfortable to let you run, start a jogging program at 12 weeks. Um, so around three months of walk-jog programs initiated in our rehab process and um, kind of progressing that every month going forward. We, um, we do let you get back in the weight room at about four months or so. And, and that, that weight room process is, is uh, where you're pushing weights again, you're lifting kind of through your range of motions and, and adding strength progressively to, to get your strength back. When could I start touching the soccer ball? Yeah, you know, I think uh, generally at five months, we're comfortable prescribing some sport-specific movements uh, that are non-contact in nature. And, and so between five and six months, you've got the ball back down at your feet, you're doing some drills, you're kicking, dribbling, doing some things that are non-contact and some, some movements that you're predicting, so some not, not reactive movements. Uh, and then, you know, we're real comfortable at around seven months letting you get back into those kind of reactive movements and, and adding some contact drills and things like that. So I have to be super patient, basically. We are patient. You know, the, the process is, is if we can get to nine months, there's a significant reduction in your risk for re-injury. After nine months, it's, it's, that reduction is not as great, or it's not as great. But before that, you do have a risk for re-injury. And so nine months, and then based off some of that bat, those battery of movement tests that we perform, we, we feel like we can have you ready for your sport.